Welcome to IBM Mainframer, a complete reference for mainframe programmer. Let us see, COBOL, Introduction. COBOL is abbreviated as Common Business Oriented Language. We will begin with a brief history of COBOL. I know you may thinking, why should you care about COBOL's history? COBOL's long history drives a lot of what you will encounter in applications run by businesses and governments today. It has helped drive how data behind these applications are stored and managed even if the original programs have been replaced over the years. COBOL's enduring relevance makes it likely that you will encounter programs that have been running for decades, perhaps with little to no recent modifications. Let me walk through COBOL history. Common Business Oriented Language came about in 1959 as a collaboration between the Department of Defense and the private sector. The goal was to have a programming language that was not machine specific and yet could fulfill the business's needs. The primary driver for this need was cost. This era of computer programming had large amounts of applications written in machine specific languages. This meant that when you moved to a new, faster machine, you needed to convert all of your programs. This in turn meant that, you needed to retrain your staff. Neither of these were cheap. There were other languages as well, but aside from Fortran, most of those were machine or company specific. Further, Fortran was not seen as an effective language for most business needs. By being machine independent, COBOL's aim was to significantly reduce all of these costs. Advantage of COBOL COBOL is a high-level structured language. COBOL is English-like language, which is used to develop major business applications. It can be used with any database like VSUM, DB2, IDMS. It can handle huge volumes of data. COBOL applications can be easily maintained. Some of the important COBOL programming terminology Abend, Abnormal Termination of Program Called program, a program that is the object of a call statement. Calling program, a program that executes a call to another program. Compiler, a program that translates a program, written in a higher level language into a machine language object. Program Condition, a status of a program at runtime for which a truth value can be determined. Copybook, a file or library member containing a sequence of code that is included in the source program at compile time, using the copy statement, file, a collection of logical records. Main program, in a hierarchy of programs and subroutines, the first program to receive control when the programs are run. Nested program, a program that is directly contained within another program. As I said before, COBOL is a structured oriented programming language, which means, Program Execution from Top to Bottom Approach A COBOL program is structured to have four divisions at a high level. Let's see each division and its uses. First, Identification Division. The Identification Division gives introduction about the program. Each program has a program ID, that is, name of the program. Author, that is, person who is writing the program and other information like date written, date compiled. This division is mandatory division. Second, environment division. The environment division must follow the identification division in the COBOL program. Among all the divisions this one is the most machine dependent division. The computer and all the peripheral devices required by the program are described in this division. This division is optional. Third division is data division. The data division is where all of the data used by a program is defined. It is divided into five sections, the file, working storage, linkage, report, and communication sections, although most programs only include the file and working storage sections. The data division is optional in a COBOL source program. Fourth, procedure division. The procedure division consists of a series of procedures called paragraphs, each designed to perform a specific function. Which means, we code the main programming logic in this section. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. For more details, 
please visit our website www.ibmmainframer.com.